What's the bourbon, whiskey, or rye that you drink that you don't tell anybody you drink? Dickle. Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are talking about six everyday bourbons that no one talks about. For 2023. For the 223. We did one of these last year. You all seemed to like it, so we thought we would do one again this year. These are bottles to us that we feel like you can get. Yeah. Close. There might be. There's one that might be a little difficult, yeah, but I think, I think in 2023 it would be easier to get. Yeah, you might be From right. talking to said people. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and start. First of all, we're going to talk about, and this actually might be the second hardest one to find on the whole list. Yeah. Oh, Frank August. Oh, Frank August. Now, we've talked about this a little bit here and there. Before we talk really about the bourbon, I always you, love... You want to talk about the cork? I mean... The 15-pound cork? It is a 15-pound cork. I mean, that thing is like a ninja shark to kill somebody. It, you, can just, you, you could throw that at somebody and really hurt them, so... So, this is actually sourced... Well, I believe it's sourced from Wilderness Trail. And you all know how I feel about it on this trail. Yeah, it is I think we go with just stuff. Yeah. It is awesome. And yeah. Frank August is uh, really, honestly, I it actually took me a hot minute to find this because I can only find one store that carried it in my yeah. little area. And uh, but once it did, but I mean, it's it's fantastic. Yeah, I've not seen it at the stores that I go to. Like it's I can only find it at the liquor barn over at Springhurst. Yeah, that was the only place where I looked I could find it at. And to me, for if this is what Wilderness Trail is going to start sourcing and what it's going to start looking like, uh, we're in for a treat. It's a really smooth drinker. I really like it. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's fantastic. Yeah, I, I'm a fan. All right, my next one. And I got into this just because my buddy Q brought some of this uh, to a little bourbon, uh, well, not bourbon meetup, but we were waiting in a lot of forest one day, and he had a handle of this uh, Corner Creek tenure. And I was like, I mean, I've seen it with some stuff. He's like, it's good. You try it. He wasn't wrong. So, you know, whenever we're drinking, it's not anything yeah. crazy. Yeah. But it's a really solid, easy proofer. You know, I think it's like 90, I think it's like 90 something proof, like 90. I can't read that. I can't read that writing to tell you. That goal. The, it's, the, the, I'm sorry. It's 88 proof. But it's super easy to drink. Yeah. And I think, I don't know if this is, I don't know where it's sourced from. It might help if I'd actually read the back of the label. I think it's actually sourced from Barton. And if it is sourced from Barton, this is probably some of my favorite Barton <laughs> that's out there. Yeah. Like, that's sourced. And I'm being serious. Like, outside of, like, the same Houston kind yeah. of the world or whatever, yeah. uh, this is honestly some of my favorite yeah. stuff that's yeah, out there. Yeah, I think it's... I think you're right. All right. Next one. The old stone hammer. The old stone hammer. Dave, do you know who uh, who who has Stonehammer? What do you mean, who has Stonehammer? Like who, like who actually, like you know, has it in their liquor store? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I Let's think it's I a Kroger. It is a Kroger. Yeah. So I think this is a Kroger owned or Kroger exclusive bourbon. Uh, it's for like summer stuff, for anything that you're gonna be in like the heat. Yeah. With I think this is some great stuff. Yeah. Uh, it's super cheap. It's like maybe twenty bucks. Yeah, I think you're right. It's like twenty. It's 20 good. Something. It's not yeah. proof. It's super low proof. It's super good. And I'll be honest with you, I skipped on it for about the first couple of years. I remember seeing it, and then I bought it. I think right before the start of the new year last year. <laughs> I like their. I like their uh, little phrase. As strong and bold as our namesake. <laughs> <laughs> But it's good. Like, it, it's seriously it good. And it's hard. It's hard for me because I'm assuming, again, I assume this stuff is Barton. And, and you know, just from the sourcing and stuff like that. I know we're talking a lot about sourcing yeah. off these first couple bottles here. Well, you know, it happens. But I think it is good. And, again, it's good. It's cheap. It's a nice lower proof for whatever you're wanting one. And, honestly, until this year, nobody knew about it until, I think, a couple channels talked yeah, about it. Yeah, yeah. So. I think they've gone through a little bit of a... Uh, label change as well. Oh yeah, I think they used to have a different label. Yeah, I think they did. Today's episode is brought to you by Zbiotics, which Dave, let me just say, this is by far one of the best products that you've ever seen on whiskey too. Oh, I, I it's agree. It's totally with that. changed the game, and it's awesome. Yeah, I agree with that. 
So what Zbiotics is, is a probiotic drink that breaks down uh, the, the byproduct of alcohol, uh, which is really the thing that's responsible for you not feeling too great the next day. Yeah, I always thought it was just because you just weren't hydrated enough. No, no it, it's all about just you're not breaking down the alcohol fast enough in your body. Yeah. So basically how you'd use it is before you're going to go to an event or whatever else where um, you, know, you might be having a few pours here or there, you're going to drink a full bottle of water, and then you're going to have a bottle of the Zbiotics. And basically, you're just going to go and do your thing. You're going to drink responsible. You'll go home. You'll get a really good night of sleep. And then you're going to wake up the next day. You're going to feel fresh. You feel refreshed, ready to take on the day, it, it go is, work out. There's no drowsiness. Meeting, do whatever you got to do. There's no tiredness. Nope. There's nothing. Yep. It's awesome. Just feeling refreshed. Speaking from experience, it's yeah. legitimately awesome. Yeah. So when you drink, here's the deal. This toxic byproduct that comes from alcohol kind of builds up in your gut. And if you're not prepared for it... Mm -hmm. Totally mess you up. Sure. Totally mess you up. So that's why Zbiotics. What what it does is it it um, takes that enzyme, which is kind of crazy. Scientists came up with this this word enzyme. We're gonna sound like Bill Nye. It's so good. Uh, this this We're enzyme. Such scientists over here. Yeah. This this uh, enzyme that that uh, that Zbiotics produces. It's kind of like breaks it down like what the liver would do. Sure. And then kind of gets rid and breaks down that byproduct that's created from yeah. the alcohol. So it's uh, really good. Basically, like this is actual like real science. Like this isn't like some like plant organic base. <laughs> some dude in a basement. Came yeah, up no with kidding. Like, like this is actual like a real out. lab, real scientist, yeah. all of this stuff. So, you know, if you're if you're looking for something, for example, Super Bowl is getting ready to come up. Super Bowl is coming up. You know, or fact, any I'm kind of, have one of these on Super Bowl. I will as well. Any kind of event you have going on or anything else like that, use our promo code below. Get 15% off. Uh, use the code Bourbon Kingdom uh, on your first order. We're so excited to to partner with Zbiotics yeah. and, and kind of get their product out there because it is it's amazing. As good as it's advertised to be. All right. Talk about this butte right here. Oh, the old butte. Uh, old Green River uh, bourbon. Again, one of the, just a great bottle. Uh, like as far as just the bottling goes, just a, a great bottle. Uh, good, smooth, easy drinker. Uh, to me, like if you're looking at getting into like figuring out what you like in bourbon, uh, this is a good bottle. Uh, I, I feel like it's a lot like uh, like Yellowstone '93. Like, yeah, in the sense of like, if you drink Yellowstone 93, you get those real spice forward notes that I think kind of tell you whether you like spice forward mm -hmm. or not like spice forward. This one, I think it's a really smooth drinker. And so it's it, because it's easy to drink. Yeah. Um, I think you kind of get a get to taste some of the things on the back end that maybe you might miss out on a Yellowstone if you only get that spice on the front end of the Yellowstone. Yeah, I think this is, it's like. 30 something bucks I think yeah. at this point 34 35 bucks it something is like that. I mean you could just cr I mean we've crushed you multiples of these bottles yes they're a great bottle they're a really good recommendation it's actually a great bottle design in my opinion I yeah. love the horseshoe on the bottom of it they have a new tube with it too which the tube looks like a huge scotch tube of course I, I actually really like it yeah I, 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 I'm not even gonna lie hey listen so, whatever it takes to sell bourbon I'm also excited for whenever they come out with barrel proof this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I, and I think they're also doing single barrel picks this yeah. year, too. I, I've heard people crush this and say it's terrible and stuff, but you got to also remember, like, it's a, yeah, it's, awesome. it's a, you know, a, a lower proof entry level bourbon. And, like, name me something at that level that's so much better than Green River. And I don't think you can. Stuff. Yeah. All right, so one of the bottles that people might get upset about because it's actually a rye, but it tastes so much like a bourbon. The old hard truth, sweet sour mash? No, sweet mash rye. Sweet I don't know why I was going to say sour mash. Sweet sass, sweet mash yeah, rye. That's all. It's all good. This is probably going to be the last time I talk about it for a while because I feel like probably should every be. opportunity I get, I talk about it. Hard truth, the these rice here are maybe my favorite rise they're good outside of sagamore yeah. cast strength rise yeah, they that are, are on the market yeah they are good for sure they are awesome they're sweet it's whenever you think of rise like and you're looking for a um 
if you're sitting here thinking of like a traditional rye, that's not it. If you're wanting something more sweet like Michter's or Old Forster rye, yeah, that's the route you go for. Yeah, I think I think you're right on that. So yeah, good stuff. And it's easy to drink. Yeah. And this is a and batch pretty, two, and it's pretty and four it's four pretty readily, readily available around here now. Yes, for us it is for sure. We even have a billboard now. So <laughs> yeah, we, we have a billboard. All right. Uh, not to say that we ha we don't have billboards. I'm just saying we have a billboard <laughs> of the Hard Truth Sweet Mash Rye. Fair. Um, okay, so the last one's going to be, talking about Rye's, uh, we're going to talk about the uh, Prideful Goat six-year picks. So I know I've talked about this before. We're going to talk about a little bit more in the sense of, if you don't know, you need to know. Yeah. Because these picks are going to start coming out more this year. And for these picks, I'm telling you, they're awesome. Yeah, the, like there. This is the for, only. This is the only one I've had, and this one is really, really good. I'm nursing it, and yeah. I, I kind of want to drink it all the time. I think for any kind of rye pick that's out there, this is by far the one I want, and this is going to be the, out of all the store picks that are out there this year, this is going to be probably my top three. Yeah. And if I say top three, I'm like, I'm going to look for Stag Junior picks and Russell picks, and then Prideful Goat picks. Yeah. So there's the company it's keeping for me. Yeah. So it's good stuff. It's it's fantastic. From I can't to, wait to try to some of the other other like other barrel picks and stuff that people do outside yes. of the bourbon junkies one that we. That oh we yeah, yeah, no, no, a thousand yeah. percent. And from talking to Chris and those guys over there, it sounds like they're going to be more available this year. Yeah, and even you know like the six year pick or the six year like standard, uh, prideful goat's great. That fifteen years phenomenal. I don't have a bottle of that. I need to get a bottle. No. So all right, well. Tell us what you uh, have been drinking on uh, every day, and um, you know. Till next time. Till next time. We'll, we'll see, see you. you.